because I wanted to tell this remarkable story, um, let the facts go where, where they were, but not, not to like bang you know, people over the head with, with, with my personal opinions. But I do close the book with a, with, with a, with, with a warning about the, what I see as kind of an erosion of truth uh, in the country that Trump has been, been, been leading. You know, I call it a war on truth. I mean, and, you know, obviously he's, he doesn't mind saying things that just are not true. Uh, the Washington Post uh, has got a new book coming out. I'll, at the risk of plugging another book, I'll, I'll point that this, this this is the early uh, galley of this one, but you know the the the, uh, the Pinocchio guys at the Washington Post have uh, have cataloged thousands and thousands of untruths uh, that have come from Donald Trump over the course of his presidency. Um, he's also tried to undermine a real news, real reporting um, as fake news. He has uh, literally told uh, there was a there was a, a veteran the VFW convention speech he gave where he told people not to believe what they see with their own eyes, um, and and I and I, I think we we are at a dangerous point in this country where you now have you know roughly between a third and a half of the country that won't believe anything uh, that Donald Trump or his White House has to say. Uh, and then you have another third to half the country on the other side that won't believe anything they read in the newspaper. And you know the old, the, you know, the famous old phrase from Daniel Patrick Moynihan, you're, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion, you're not entitled to your own facts. Uh, but now we live in a country where increasingly people are living in two alternative universes and they do have their own set of facts and they aren't exposed to anything that challenges um, uh, their, 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 their beliefs or their biases. And, you know, I think that makes it all the harder to overcome the, the, the divisions that we have in our country.